Hi guys, so I've decided to do a blind date with a book reading vlog, but I'm actually not going to read the book for another couple weeks, but the parcel has arrived and the reason I'm filming this so early is because I just can't wait to see what the book is. I can't wait two weeks. I just can't. So I'm going to open the book here and then in a couple weeks time I'll actually read the book and film my reading experience. I'm not going to show you the front of this because it's got my dress on it. So I'm just going to cover that up. I got this off Etsy and um, I was just typed into Etsy, blind date with a book. And this was the cheapest one that came up. It was three pounds. But the postage label, it says it costed £4.19 to send. So they've actually lost money on this. So I don't know why they were selling it so cheap. But anyway, the parcel came like this with a thank you sticker and a little other sticker on it and i'm gonna open it up and see what the book is i'm a little worried it's gonna be a book i've already got in which case i will buy another blind date with a book for this video but hopefully it's something that i've not read and i picked a random genre so it could be literally any genre i just said you pick so i'm just opening up the parcel i'm nervous I'm excited oh Okay, so inside, inside that, it comes in another layer of wrapping. It's like past the parcel. So it says on it, blind date with a book, happy reading. And then a little sticker that says, thank you for your order. So that's cute. Ooh, it's something I haven't got. Okay. So, ooh, comes with some other goodies as well. So let me just show you what this comes with. So, I got a little tea tree mud mask mini one so I can do that when I read it that'd be really cute and then I got some little stickers these are random so I got a little mini skittles sticker potion a love potion sticker whatever this is I don't know what this is supposed to be but that and a little like drinks can sticker and then I got a little thing in it that just says thank you and then also a little hand-painted wooden bookmarks. It's quite cute. With a little tassel. Cool. Loki's like smelling that. All the books that I get in you get in this are second hand, so obviously that's absolutely fine. And I got this one. And I've not actually heard of this book, so that'll be quite an interesting one to read. It's called Love, Love Struck by Laura Jane Williams. One moment can change everything. And one thing I notice about this is how floppy the paperback is. And this is what the synopsis says on the back. It says, Becca Calloway is calling it. She's ready for Mr. Wright and she's ready now. She even goes as far as to hold a manifestation ceremony for him. And when she receives a text from her ex five minutes later, she knows it's a sign. The problem is she doesn't know which way it's pointing. Should Becca reply and reignite things with her old flame mic? Or delete and block moving forward with the new man in her life? Becca has one choice with two days, two ways this could go, and in Love Struck, you're about to see them both. Sounds intriguing, so I'm excited, and I'm, I'm excited actually that I've never heard of this, so it's something different. I will leave this clip here, and I'll come back to you in a couple of weeks when I'm actually going to read the book, and I'll let you know how I get on with it. on now and this evening I've just started Love Struck by Laura Jane Williams. I'm on page 43 so I've only read five chapters and so far what's happened is the there's a main girl called Becca and her and her friend go to this like random it was a bit strange it's kind of like a ritual kind of thing where they're like trying to manifest like their biggest desires or whatever and the main character becca she wants to get married and have children that's her like biggest desire and then 
Her best friend Gia Lee, she works at this hair salon and Gia Lee and this is this other guy Carlos who I quite like, he's quite a cool character. This event gets set up where everyone has to bring along a single friend so it's like a dating like mingling kind of thing and Becca bumped into this guy and got talking to him and she's got his number so yeah we're just gonna see now I'm guessing they're gonna message each other and maybe go on some dates, I don't know. I have no idea. This book has like over just over 400 pages in it so i mean there's got to be obviously a lot that goes on in this book or i hope so it take me like a couple chapters to get into it but i think i'm getting into it a bit more now so yeah i'm just gonna i think i might do a face mask because there was a face mask in the blind date with a book thing that i got so i think i'm gonna do the face mask that was in that kit because that'd be cute and my skin needs it to be honest so i'm gonna take my makeup off and then do a face mask and then just continue reading <laughs> everyone it's now the next day so I actually I read up to nearly 100 pages I read up to page 96 last night of Love Struck and I'm actually really enjoying it like the, re the re rating on Goodreads is not very good so I didn't have high expectations but I'm actually really enjoying it and what it's done which I didn't realize basically at the beginning of the book her ex-boyfriend texts her and um, she doesn't know whether to text back or not so then each chapter alternates now between a scenario where she did text her partner back her partner her ex-boyfriend back um, and then there's another like alternate reality in the next chapter which is where she didn't text him back so it's like one where she did text him back and didn't text him back so in the one where she didn't text him back that's where she's gone to this party and met this guy that i said about in the last update and then in the chapters that she did text him back she's rekindling some relationship with her ex so basically i reckon it's gonna like go through both scenarios and one or other of them is going to turn out good and then one of them is going to turn out bad so we will see i'm intrigued at the moment i don't have a preference for either of the guys don't know them that well not much has happened she's only like met up with them both like once at this point i'm intrigued to know what happens in both of the scenarios it's the next day now and i last night i got to page 182 last night so i'm nearly halfway through and i am still really enjoying it but I feel like something, some drama needs to happen soon, otherwise I can see myself getting a little bit bored, but yeah, I am still enjoying it, but yeah, I just really hope that something happens, something like major happens very soon. everyone so as you saw in the last clip i went down to the beach and i finished the last 80 or so pages of love struck and i did really enjoy this book to be honest i thought it was just very different compared to any other romance i'd read before i ended up giving this book four stars which is a really good rating and i just it was yeah it was just because it was quite different to anything i'd ever read before i thought the only things i didn't like about the book though was because there was two timelines so there was like two alternate realities kind of thing one of the timelines is in this like scenario she did text her ex back and then the other one is if she didn't text her ex back and it kind of alternates chapters and i feel like some of the things that were happening because quite similar things were happening in both realities i feel like sometimes it did get a little bit confusing my cats are being quite loud playing with this so if you hear this plastic ball thing or hear loads of noise in the background that is what's going on 
So yeah, sometimes I did get a little bit mixed up between the two timelines, the two realities, um, and was getting them a little bit crossed in my mind, which I think was one thing that I didn't enjoy, just because it just got a little bit confusing sometimes. And also like with both of the love interests, so one of the love interests was her ex, and one of them was this random guy, Noah, I think he was called. Yeah, this other guy, Noah, that she met at this like dating party thing. And he just seemed to fall for her way too quick. And it was like, all of a sudden he was just like in love with her, wanting to marry her, like planning the whole future together and all sorts. I just thought it was very, very quick. But I mean, I guess it does happen in real life sometimes. Some people do just feel that way and then just really spontaneous about things. But, but yeah, I did really enjoy this and I would definitely recommend it. I think this book was released this year, like early this year. And yeah, if you're looking for something a little bit different and quite easy to get through, I feel like the writing in this book reminded me quite a bit of Paige Toon's writing. I don't know why, like the story just reminded me of her books. I'm not sure why, but it just did. But anyway, I would definitely read things again from this author because I did really enjoy my time with this one. I hope you enjoyed this reading vlog, my blind date with a book. And it was a success because I enjoyed this. And I think I would definitely do this challenge again. It's quite exciting, like receiving a book, but you have no idea what the book's gonna be and then having to read it and just being forced to read something you wouldn't have necessarily picked up on your own so it's quite a good good little challenge and i did really enjoy myself please give the video a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more from me if you're not subscribed already and i'll hopefully see you in my next video bye